Communications Act passed in the 1930s lists the two words public interest 17 times. Today, I don't hear much talk about the public interest. There's very little talk about it. Second, when we were at the FCC, we tried to enlarge choice. We felt that opening up UHF, opening up cable, opening up all forms of new television would benefit the public. 60 years later, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure that the proliferation of channels has increased the divisions in the country. We saw in the early days of television when JFK was killed, when there were 9-11, how television united the country. Today, in many ways, television is dividing the country. You know, I think that we are living in an unprecedented time with more information available at people's fingertips than any time in history, but also with a cacophony and confusion that follows. Uh, only one private industry is mentioned in the United States Constitution, and it's the press. And I don't think it's by accident. I think that the framers of the Constitution understood how central the press was and is to the maintenance of a constitutional democracy, to the distribution of ideas and information, and indeed to the accountability process necessary to hold those who have government office to accountability to the voters. We're in a crisis right now when it comes to the private news industry. Whatever the medium, whether it's print or broadcast or internet or cable, there is a devastating disruption. And particularly uh, the older forms are being uh, disrupted by the internet generally, which doesn't view itself and its uh, leaders do not think of themselves as journalists in the news industry and nonetheless, they have uh, built uh, an ad industry that draws away from conventional media, the heart blood of the financial mechanism that supported broadcast news, cable news, uh, and print media. In terms of diagnosis, Martha and I and lots of other people are on a similar page. We had all hoped when the internet came along that it would be a vibrant marketplace of ideas in which truth would prevail. Uh, what we forgot is that the marketplace of ideas depends on a structure, the constitution of knowledge, uh, a structured market. It's very Madisonian, lots of requirements. None of that was built in. And the result was we got an epistemic race to the bottom because uh, internet was dependent on it's an advertising based business model. And that meant that what got the most attention made the most money and what got the most attention was outrage and misinformation. So this environment turned out to be actively hostile to truth. And the question now is how do we deal with that? You look at the history of attempts to regulate broadcasting, you start saying, whoa, we don't wanna apply those to the internet. It's, it's really a happy accident that the internet ended up being the free, relatively free place it is. Uh, it's, a, it's a unintended consequences of courts and Congress in the 80s and 90s deciding to go with one metaphor instead of another, they could have gone, after all, the internet was carried on copper wires originally. It is it's it is telephony, right? The same phone lines, uh, you know, once upon a time, today, fiber optic cables. The internet was, in a sense, a form of broadcasting, right? right, right? Uh, but the courts didn't go with a broadcasting mo metaphor. They didn't apply the lower First Amendment standard that exists on broadcasting. Instead, they went with a print metaphor. They went with email, uh, online you know, forums and, and bulletin boards where people chat and talk. And because they went with a different metaphor, they essentially left that a, a, a space that's free and able to evolve, both in terms of technological innovation and the development of the social media platforms, then also as we're seeing to the, today, the kind of evolution in self-regulation like the Facebook Oversight Board. And ultimately, I think we're going to see the recapitulation of many of the norms that Jonathan longs for, uh, like the newsroom and whatnot, being replicated in a new space.